Brisk communication is going on between the top brass of the core committee on the Naga Peace Talks and the NSC and IM leadership to finalize the date and time for a crucial meeting to give a definite shape to a peace agreement. Chief Minister Nephew Rio and some of the top core committee members are expected to meet the NSC and IM leadership on the 29th of May ahead of the NSC and IM Emergency National Assembly meet on the 31st of May. Yes, viewers, another big development at this point in time. Brisk communication is underway between the top brass of the core committee on the Naga Peace Talks and the NSC and IM leadership to finalize the date and time for a crucial meeting to give a definite shape to the peace agreement. Chief Minister Nephew Rio and some of the top core committee members are expected to meet the NSC and IM leaders on the 29th of May ahead of the NSC and IM Emergency National Assembly meeting on the 31st of May. All right, and to give us more details, I'm being joined now with the phone line by our editor in chief, Wasbir Hussain. We will connect with our editor-in-chief in a few moments, viewers. However, once again, let me tell our viewers, it is indeed another big development, another big step towards a reaching a solution to the Naga Peace Talks with the top brass of the core committee and the NSC and IM leadership to finalize the date and time for a crucial meeting to give a definite shape to the peace agreement. Chief Minister Nephew Rio and some of the top core committee members are expected to meet the NSC and IM leaders on the 29th of May ahead of the NSC and IM emergency national meeting on the 31st of May. All right, I'm now connected with our editor-in-chief, Wasbir Hussain. Wasbir, indeed, another big step towards reaching a, reaching a tangible solution to the Naga Peace Talks. What more would you like to add at this point in time, Wasbir? Well, at this point in time, there is brisk communication going on uh, between uh, the core committee on Naga Peace Talks and the NSC and IM. The basic idea of this communication uh, is to fix a date and time where Chief Minister Nefurio and other top uh, members of the core committee uh, are going to meet uh, the NSC and IM leadership. So now this is as far planned. Uh, yesterday, there was a core committee meeting that had taken place at the residence of uh, Nagaland Chief Minister Nephew Rio, and there it was decided uh, that they will meet, uh, the core committee will meet the NSCNIM leadership. Uh, now, therefore, this communication is going on to fix the date and time for this meeting. But sources are telling us that this meeting between Nephew Rio and other core committee members and the NSCNIM leadership is going to take place on the 29th of May. Uh, this is either going to take place at the police guest house in Chamokidima or at Camp Hebron itself. But it is more likely that since the chief minister will be there, the meeting may take place at the police complex in Chamokidima that is on 29th of May. Now, this meeting is very, very crucial because the NSC and IM has called an emergency meeting of its national assembly where apart from the civilian leaders like Twingal and Muiva, Vyasa Tam and others, the Tatar Hoho, that is the Naga NSC and I am Parliament, uh, Speaker of the Tatar Hoho and other Parliament members, as well as the military wing leaders are also going to attend this crucial National Assembly. Now, uh, the, 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 the meeting between the core committee and the NSC and I am is going to discuss uh, the latest uh, uh, formula that has been devised by the center uh, to reach, to break the deadlock uh, posed by the NSC and I am's demand for a separate flag and constitution for the Naga people. Uh, now, that is basically the idea of why the core committee is going to have its critical meeting with the NSC and IM before the NSC and IM itself meets uh, for its emergency national assembly. So these are very, very crucial and fast-paced developments taking place in the Naga Peace Theater uh, that, because this has all happened about three weeks ago when the, the core committee leaders and the chief minister were in New Delhi meeting NSC and IM, meeting NNPGs, and having meetings with the envoy of the Naga Peace Talk, that is A.K. Mishra. Then they came back and they held the core committee meeting yesterday. And now they, they are all set to have this meeting between the core committee and the NSNIM. And of course, the NSNIM itself is going to have its emergency national assembly. So uh, the peace process getting further boost and uh, an solution is expected sooner than later. At least, at least that is the sense which a lot of people, including me, are getting. Absolutely. So was with things moving at a brisk pace in the recent days. So, you know, can we truly say at this point in time that the roadmap to a acceptable solution is getting clearer? Absolutely. Absolutely. That is that basically is the situation where uh, there is this movement and we'll have to wait and watch as to how things unfold in the days ahead.
the critical meeting between the core committee and the NSCN, and of course the critical uh, National Assembly. Whether the, the the ball is absolutely in the court of the NSCN, I am. They have to accept the central government's offer if the talk has to proceed further. And and the central government's offer is that, that they will allow the Naga people to use the flag for cultural purposes, and uh, Naga statute or uh, uh, or the Yazabo will also find reflection in some form in the Indian Constitution. This is the two or these are the two of these are the two uh, main points on which the government of India's offer centers around, and uh, and it is up to the NSCNIM to whether to accept or reject uh, the latest addition. So so the ball basically in the court of the NSCNIM Rona. Absolutely. Wasbiru Sen, thank you very much for joining us at this point in time and bringing us all of those latest details.